This time on Burnouts and Rotor Blades, we're taking care of a leaky hydro boost unit. Roll the intro. Welcome to the Burnouts and Rotor Blades YouTube channel. Let's go do something awesome. Welcome back to the channel. It is a pleasure to have you here, as always. And unfortunately, we have another leak on the square body. This is my 1984 Chevy C30 square body dually. The 454s typically came with a hydro boost unit to control the braking pressure as opposed to a vacuum booster. Unfortunately, these frequently leak and it leaves a huge, huge mess and also could affect your power steering and ability to brake if you don't fix it in a timely manner. But where this thing is leaking, it leaves a ton of oil underneath the truck, which is really obnoxious because you know, it's it's leaking in the driveway, it's leaking on the road, it's leaking in front of the neighbor's houses where I have it parked right now, and this is what it looks like. With your Hydro Boost unit, you can usually reach right up underneath here in order to see the leak. It's coming from the main piston seal. They do leak from other places, like the lines here and here. You can see everything from this down is leaking, but above it is relatively clean. Leads me to believe that these are fine. It is more frequent to see it from the piston seal up underneath. Cool. This is the back of the Hydro Boost unit. This thing was leaking right into the cab as well, right from this seal right over here. So I'm lucky we're doing it right now. Could end up ruining the complete carpet of this car. Next up is to remove this bolt. Oh, for sure. this bracket out of the way. Bracket. And then we can take the clip off that holds this rod. Copious amounts of struggling. This bolt right here also comes off. And in addition to that one over there, there's one up behind this relay and you can't even see the bottom of it really up there. But we have to get this relay out. But right now, there's no way I can film and do this. It's too tight of an area. In order to get to this other bolt, we had to remove whatever this box was right here. This relay and bracket was up there. So we got that out of the way and now we can get to that bolt. Once we're done with that, we can pop outside and just yank it out of the firewall. This one can come off right out. Ah. Oh wow, okay. That makes a big mess. Rip. This is a perfect job for some Harbor Freight zip ties. Because it only costs you a penny. And it keeps it out of your way. And we can just pull this guy forward. This guy should just come right, and it doesn't. No, gentle pers- no, no. How about some subtle coercion? Oh, come on now. Oh. Oh, just everything went. Okay, let's get you. Now we can take our hydro boosting out. So our replacement hydro booster comes in the form of this Cardone unit, 52-7307. And if we put these two side by side, they're pretty dang close. We're gonna have to transfer over this piece here. We do need to pull all the stuff out of the other one. It looks like that, and put it in this one here. While removing the star washer, the hydro boost unit slid out of frame, but if you're just slow and patient with it, you can work it out. I did bend it a little bit, but it didn't break. This is a little bit tweaked, but I'll just put it right back whenever we pop it in the other one. We're gonna put our plunger with our spacer in there, our spring on top of that. Then we have to get this star washer down inside of this groove right here. So we're just gonna slide it in the spring and then I'll use a large socket. Mommy, do we have any more um, <sighs> things? And now it's in there. Thanks. Now it slid back after all that. <laughs> It's all right, we'll fill it back up whenever we get into the truck. But now it looks about like the other one looked. All right, the next thing is to get this, this plate right here off that we need in order to install it. So we're gonna take this snap ring with the incorrect pliers. And now we need to get this nut loose. I'm winning. 
Ha! Huh. Can't be stuck if it's liquid. Yeah, that part's hot too. Guess what? Still touched it. Whoa. Hey, you. Ah, no! Keyways over there. Keyways locked in. Okay. Always check the back side of your C clips too. Even though, like, especially if it's somewhere you can't see very well, just get around there and check the back side of it to make sure. You can feel if it's all dialed in there. You know, these should have a little bit of a split on them, but not much. It could be. It could be like half up on part of it and not doing its job of keeping this from coming up. Doesn't move, that doesn't move. Cotter key's locked in, and we can throw this in the truck. So now that we have it installed, the last thing we wanna do is just go ahead and like clean it up a bit. So we're just gonna use a little bit of brake clean kind of sparingly to get some of the big stuff off, but uh, I think this will do the trick, and then we can uh, wait for that to dry while we step inside and take care of the things that need to be connected in there. After a not insignificant amount of swearing, this bar is put back on that comes from the Hydro Boost unit. The cotter key that's underneath there goes on. This bracket goes on. You tighten it down with this bolt, which is the same size. It's just a bolt that goes through, so it's not captive. We needed to remove this AC control box in order to remove this relay in order to get to the other, the other bolt that's over here. It's behind all that stuff. So all that stuff's back in and the brake feels good. I tested the brake lights. I just moved it forward and made sure the, the switch actuated. The wife verified that it is indeed working. So now we can go top up our reservoir and turn on the truck, make sure everything works. Now turn the wheel all the way to the left and all the way to the right. All right, center it up. Push the brake again. All right, so we topped off the reservoir and then I had my lovely assistant pump the brakes and turn the steering left to right. It sucked down some of that fluid. Now we're gonna go take it for a test drive and make sure that everything's all good. We'll check the fluid one more time whenever we get back to verify that. Most importantly, not leaking yet. Don't forget to subscribe if you like the content and wanna see more like it. And as always, thanks for watching.